everyone and welcome back to Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village and we are here outside of our home getting ready to kind of poke around a little bit more but I have a pretty strong feeling you guys that for now this may be our last episode of Sky Tree Village. I think we have given it a fair try. We have played for an entire week now. We have got a few hours under our belt here in Sky Tree Village. In fact we actually, hello little buddy I see you over there. We have actually played for a total of um about two and a half hours now and I feel like by now I should have a good sense of the game and where we're going and what kind of goals we may have but I'm feeling like this just may not be the harvest moon for me you guys I am feeling like this may not be the one that really appeals to me um Mostly because this is not a traditional Harvest Moon. Let's remember that. This is a Harvest Moon that's created by people who love Harvest Moon. And they love the idea behind Harvest Moon. And Natsume is not the same developer as a lot of the traditional Harvest Moons. And I've given it a good try. I came into it with an open heart and mind. I really, really wanted to see everything flourish. And I really wanted to get into it, even with the more simplistic styles. But because... All of the elements I'm used to of building up with hard work and being able to kind of like build my house and I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do out here in my front yard because I can't I can't quite do anything and the way that almost half the season is gone and it doesn't seem like like the tutorials are over. Like it's just tutorial after tutorial. Like today, I am going to go to bed because I already watered my plants. The villagers don't really, I can't really give them gifts or anything like that. I can't interact with them. Um, I could go catch some fish, but the catching fish isn't really, it doesn't make as much intuitive sense after playing things like Animal Crossing, which is a much older game. Oh, he's a little scary looking. I dream of a man in strange clothes coming to town. I wonder who he could be. I wonder indeed. It's just not super intuitive to me. And here's Rowan. So I, I don't want to say I feel like giving up. Um, But at the same time... I'm not sure if this is the harvest moon for me. So you guys, we're probably going to, to put this one to the side for a little bit because as I said, and this weird man is just walking into my house too. As I said, it's it's not got a lot of the traditional heart that I'm used to with harvest moon. It doesn't have the ability to like give villagers gifts yet. It, it doesn't have the ability to feel pride in being able to build up and develop my my village and develop my farm the way that I'm used to. It doesn't really have a very strong uniting storyline and I'm also really uncomfortable with just how over the top some of the characterization, characterization is. I feel like it actually crosses the line in several places from being kind of funny and quirky and giving characters character to becoming caricatures where it's just almost making fun of, of people in a way or of different groups of people in a way. It's just very, 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 um, like everything, everything's a little bit too heavy handed with their dialogue and... So it makes it really hard to actually feel like they're authentic characters. <laughs> and, and so it's just really, really difficult for me. Like right here, we were meeting a new person who's setting up a, a laboratory in town. And also, I don't have any sense of urgency. I don't have any sense that I'm really doing anything important other than going to bed and waking up the next day. That's all that seems to be happening. It doesn't matter if my entire field was empty. The number of crops I, I grow at this point doesn't matter at all, except for completing a few of those little requests. Um, yeah, I just... I think it's definitely a, a really wonderful thing that people really love Harvest Moon, and they really want to see it come in all sorts of forms. I am not saying... I'm not like a Harvest Moon purist. I mean, I played Stardew Valley for hundreds of episodes and plan to play it for potentially hundreds more. I think there's definitely some interesting mechanics and features, but I'm just really feeling that this is possibly not the game for me right now. Maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe as people play, like, things that are just I'm missing right now, people will discover and understand. And I'll be like, oh, that's what you were supposed to do. That makes so much more sense now. And and I'll understand it. And I'll be like, yeah, that's really cool. I want to I wanna do that. 
But as it is right now, you, the terraforming is kind of cool, yes, but I'm also a Minecraft player, so the terraforming isn't really something you can woo me with. I want to be wooed with the ability to maybe find really unique places around the world. I want to be wooed with the ability to have really good characters. But like I said, it's almost like the characters are overdone to the point of being disrespectful. And that makes me feel pretty uncomfortable. And uh, there's no information about the, the actual, like, farming elements of being able to understand when to grow your crops and how long they take is gone. The ability to give people gifts right now, I don't know if that's something they'll give you in the future, is gone. Um, the way that you are supposed to have this village grow over time and bring it back to life, but then the shops just appear when you didn't do anything but go ahead and sleep and then wake up. Like, that's kind of hard to wrap my head around for immersion. Yeah, like, but that's the thing, Rowan. Everybody built their houses this fast. Um, so apparently we can come in. Like, maybe this will finally be... Nope, it's locked. And the thing is, there's literally nothing for me to do. Usually in, in these kinds of games, you'll go wander into the wilderness and you'll go collect items. Or maybe you'll go fishing. I could go fishing right now. I could terraform right now and spend time and energy doing that. Um... But there just really isn't a lot of the drive that I'm familiar with. And I made a big deal. I feel kind of bad because I made such a big deal, you guys. And going, I love Harvest Moon. I love Harvest Moon. And I do love Harvest Moon. And I want to share my love of it with you guys. And I don't want you guys to have seen this and to judge this as all Harvest Moons. This is what all Harvest Moons are like. This is not what any Harvest Moon I've ever played has been like. And I read reviews that said that the, uh, the Lost Valley was definitely not... Not the game for a lot of people. And a lot of the, the... I just read a whole bunch of reviews just to see uh, what people thought about about the Lost Valley and what people thought potentially about this game. I read a whole bunch of reviews to try to see if I'm just potentially missing something. Is it just me? Uh, is, are there features I just haven't unlocked or stumbled on that would make it really, really engaging and a good story? And actually, I found a lot of articles that talked about the Lost Valley and kind of what I'm feeling, where you feel like you're sort of stuck in an endless tutorial and you're waiting for the next stage of the tutorial and it's never coming and you're going, wait a second, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> this is not quite what I'm used to. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit more fishing for just a second. But those are just my thoughts. And so I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you who are like, yes, Harvest Moon, I'm so excited. I am excited too. And I think it's important to note here that traditionally, the Harvest Moon games that you are probably thinking about and I'm probably thinking about are made by somebody completely different. Harvest Moon, the name, was bought by Natsume two games ago for Harvest Moon The Lost Valley. So it was actually not created by anybody who had anything to do with creating the last games. Oh, look at that. I got a, a giant fish. So it's a new thing. It's a new record. So yeah, the, the Lost Valley and this game were not created by any of the creators who had anything to do with the past games, from my knowledge at least. So when we're thinking about things like, um, you know, Harvest Moon DS or Harvest Moon 64, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, A Wonderful Life, that is from a different group of people than the people who made this game. They just sort of have the name and they're trying their own style at making things very different. That's going to work for some people and I, I don't think it's going to work for me though. It's not what I'm really looking for. So right now we're going to kind of put the game to the side. I have, I feel some legitimate concerns, especially again, the characterization is actually a little over the top to the point where it makes me uncomfortable to read the dialogue out loud because I feel it's almost a little bit insulting to a lot of people. Um... And I think I'm just going to kind of leave it there <laughs> and we'll go ahead and we're going to try with the games that I know are near and dear to my heart and have answered that place. Harvest Moon traditionally has been something that has given me a lot of solace over my life that has made me feel very, very happy, that has made me feel really like I could do something good in the world. Harvest Moon games for me have always been about seeing how my one day of like thinking very hard and planning things out and running around and giving gifts to people and taking care of my animals could make a better, more beautiful world where my every moment mattered. Every Everything I thought about with the time management of how to spend my day mattered. And 
I don't really get that feeling here. I don't get that sense of immersion in the community. I don't get that sense of um, exploration, that sense of freedom, and that sense of the fact that I matter and my choices matter and this community is precious to me. This is all just kind of, it doesn't even have as much of a community sense to me. Uh, delicate experiments going. I have to get supplies. Can you bring me supplies? That's what he wants. Yeah, it doesn't really even have the, the sense of community to me that Animal Crossing does with characters feeling like characters. All right. The gruff old blacksmith probably has axes and hammers now. Okay. So again, we might come back later. This might be something where we have fun with it or you guys have had a lot of fun with it. We haven't even gotten our little donkeys yet. And I was trying so hard to learn how to say uh, the donkeys in French so that I would be able to pronounce their names correctly. But I'm going to be honest, what I really, really, really want to share with you guys, this is not, this is not that personality. This is not that heart that came with Stardew Valley. This is not that heart that has come with some of the rune factories. This is not the heart that has been in so many of the former Harvest Moons that were there when I really needed them. So we're going to go ahead. I mean, things are starting to happen. But again, uh Again, like, I can't, I'm not really, uh, hmm, see, like, even this dialogue, I'm not really feeling that engaged with what's happening. Hmm. Oh, Melanie is actually able to, like, make some, some forge tools? That would be kind of interesting. All right, well, we got an axe now. No hammer yet, even though, like, we were introduced to the mine. So, you know, everything just feels like it's kind of, kind of sideways. But again, the characterizations, like, she's saying like a lot and fine, fine, totally a lot. It just feels so over the top that I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back. We'll come back. But let me know what you guys think. Also, that, that, that sense of like okay it, it i read a review that said that lost valley felt like an app game um that was kind of underdeveloped and i don't i don't want to criticize anything in a bad way but i'm kind of getting that feeling from this world too it's it feels like a lot of the app games i play and i love the app games but it doesn't feel like what i really needed <laughs> what I really needed for my heart. And that's what I get from Harvest Moon and what I wanted to share with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll cut down a tree just to try it out, just to see if we're like actually going along the lines of being able to do everything. There we go. Oh, look at that, the tree is gone just like that, okay. <laughs> And, you know, it's, you gotta be open. You gotta be open to, to trying out different things. But right now, I know what I'm looking for. And it's not this. And it is something that I want to be able to share with you guys that's super duper special. I mean, look, we're not even losing stamina for cutting down trees. Any of you who have played Harvest Moon know that we should be exhausted right now. This shouldn't be happening. But, again, I'm comparing it to something else. And right now, I need something else. And it's not quite this. So thank you guys for joining me. I really, really 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 was eager to jump in and love it and be with it and play it all the way through um but here we are so we may come back we may not but now I know why people talk about the lost valley the way that they do and we're gonna go back and we are gonna try out one of the other games I'm thinking either rune factory 3 or story of seasons and in February story of seasons sequel trio of towns comes out and it looks very interesting I do love the characterization in story of seasons and I especially love rune factory 3 I think it's one of the best rune factories rune factory frontier is also one of my favorites so we're gonna try those out instead it's good to follow your heart in the end you guys this was very fun not quite my thing but again I know what I'm looking for we will go and find that thing and then maybe one day we will feel like coming back here and terraforming to our heart's content so let me know if you guys have enjoyed it or if there's an aspect of it I just missed somehow that I need to find and then everything will make sense and if not I hope you guys are looking forward to sharing some of the Harvest Moon Rune Factory adventures that I'm really thinking about with me next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.